everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for gemini sun moon and rising let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of june 2018 also i want to give you guys a quick update i will be working on uploading videos that have to do with tarot um and also spell work so you guys definitely look out as i will be trying the best i can to upload for you guys every tuesday and every friday okay so let's get right into it gemini's this is your reading for sun, moon, and rising for the month of June 2018. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Okay, here we go. Well, your general energies, uh, Gemini, for the month of June is the strength card, definitely representing the month of June. It is also... Um, it actually represents August um, because it is a symbolization of Leo. Nonetheless, the strength card as a general energy, I feel that for a lot of you guys, you Geminis, um, I've been feeling really, you know, since I've seen this card, like really heavy energy. For some of you guys, it's the constant struggle. For some of you guys, you are taking some of the qualities of that of a Leo um, in the fortitude and almost demanding the universe or demanding people to respect you, demanding people to give you what you're worth, give you that opportunity. It's like you're not asking nicely anymore. You're taking um, what's rightfully yours. And there's this empowerment with the strength card. It's almost like you guys have been through the most difficult stages in your life the past couple of months, and you've been tested and you've gone through trials Nonetheless, I feel that like you're coming out very strong and you're going to be radiating for the month of June, a lot of confidence, a lot of empowerment, self-empowerment, uh, empowerment more than anything for you, Gemini's. Now, let me pull out more cards. Give me one second. Okay, Gemini's, you guys have the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is definitely talking about uh, coming together as a group and working or having um, having the trust in each other to, that everyone in the group is going to have the same goal in mind and trying to achieve or attain it. Um, so let's see what spirit has for you guys. Three of Pentacles is definitely talking to me a lot about, for some of you guys, you may experience or have been experiencing a bit of solitude, a bit of reflection, a lot of going within and trying to figure out what it is that you want, uh, trying to figure out, or even putting effort towards something that you don't want to be tainted. So it could be relationships. For some of you guys, uh, you're more concerned about the relationship and making sure that it's good and that it's stable than being out there and being social with everyone else. For others of you, it could represent not really having a social life or have, haven't had a social life for quite a while because you're very, very um, focused on attaining and being able to find financial stability. So that's definitely a good thing, not at all bad. Um, your second card here is the temperance card. So the temperance is all about balance. It's also talking about um, timing, and it also speaks about patience more than anything. Uh, spirit guides as well. So let's see what spirit has for you guys. Okay, so you're being guided, Gemini, for the month of June. You're going to find a lot of signs. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be experiencing this already. Uh, as an example, um, if there's a particular song that you are just very fond of and every time you hop in the car, it starts to play. Or if you look at the time and, you know, you see like um, patterns or you see numbers, angelic numbers and stuff like that. Just know and understand that that spirit or spirit guides guiding you. If you have a deceased one or someone that has passed on to the other side, they're definitely guiding you through this process and trying the best to help you to find the balance that you're looking for. Now, for others of you, temperance definitely talks about balance. So back to this three of pentacles here. If you guys have been working very, very hard towards achieving a goal um, or having balance in a relationship or uh, working hard towards you know the business or the company you work for or whatever, you need to try to find balance in your life, okay? There's absolutely nothing wrong with being reclusive and going within yourself and being a bit private, but
but do not overdo it because when you overdo it, you're going to be stuck in this fantasy world of fantasy world in the sense of you're only living or you're only seeing your focus. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But when you overdo it, you kind of get out of touch with reality. And as an example, what I'm hearing is, okay, so I'm getting multiple messages. So for some of you guys, it could be that you found spirituality to help you greatly in regards to your life, in regards to letting go of what no longer serves you or in regards to manifesting. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you overdo it, you tend to do it not because, because of the abundance and the prosperity or the peace that it's brought to you, the serenity, but you're doing it now because it's becoming almost like you're trying to escape the reality of what your life is. So you need balance in reference to that, okay? For some of you guys, you may be experiencing or having a family member that is experiencing healing for the month of June. Um, major transformation in regards to healing. There is definitely healing coming through very strongly. Now, your next card here is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles could represent an earth sign. It would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. For others, it could just represent the fact that you've been working very hard trying to find the balance into your financial stability. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel that for some of you guys, you're so focused in trying to find the financial stability you've been looking for. For others, it could be that you took on um, or stepped it up in regards to relationships and took it to the next level. And now you feel like the pressure of taking on those responsibilities. Nonetheless, you will start to see, um, it's been a long process, but you will start to see the manifestations of stability start to happen for you guys for the month of June. Finally, you have the seven of swords. So the seven of swords could represent, um, here with the queen of pentacles, if you guys are dealing with an earth sign or that of a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, um, or even a mother figure in particular, um, listen to your intuition. Okay. For some of you guys, it could be that you're getting messages from a mother that has passed on to the next life. And they're trying to guide you and trying to prevent you from being surrounded by people that are ill intended or have ill intentions towards you, or you're being guided, um, to keep you from any type of any type of random act of like someone breaking into your car, someone stealing something from you, that type of energy. So be very mindful and very watchful of those signs that are being given to you. For others of you with the seven of swords, it could represent that you feel like this person that you may be dealing with that is an earth sign, has sneaky type of behavior or has ill intentions towards you. But because the temperance card is here, the temperance card is definitely talking about a person that is extremely balanced. It also speaks about a person that perhaps has um, very intuitive, um, very intuitive type of psychic abilities or that they are very good with manifestation. So if they try to give you advice or try to guide you, do not feel like you have to watch uh, that they have different intentions or something like that, uh, because I don't see that. I see that they are genuinely giving you advice to the best of your interest, okay, with this temperance card here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And I will see you guys on Friday.